go, go. <laughs> Hello folks and welcome to another Richard Head Longbows video. What are we looking at today, Dad? Well, a customer has brought in their self u bow. It's one we made uh, at the turn of the century, so that's <laughs> the last one. So that's 19 years old plus at so yeah. the end of the year. Um, it's got a few problems in the back, in the sapwood, a couple of little lifts that the customer wasn't sure were a problem, so they brought it back for us to have a look at. It's made of Oregon U, uh, about 60 growth rings to the inch, so reasonably tight grain. Uh, it was a really nice piece of U. Uh, the customer has had a lot of shooting out of it, and it belonged to one of the best lady archers actually in the, in the country and has won a lot of tournaments. So she's reluctant to hang it on the wall, so has brought it back for us to have a close look at, a good inspection, see whether it's worth uh, saving or whether she just retires it at the end of uh, a very useful life. And what are those problems then that she's seen and, and uh, what exactly do you mean? Right, um, first of all, the bow, if we look at the back, the sapwood, there's some very tiny lifts on the back where the grain has just started to lift up a very little bit. Um, I think she noticed it when she was perhaps rubbing it down, putting a bit of polish on it, just cleaning it up. Um, but once you get a magnifying glass and look under it, um, you can see that the grain is just these little spear shaped lifts in several places. So this is where a piece of wood is separated from the rest of the wood. Yeah, it's That's just like flat. Just starting to lift up. Okay. Now it may not be a problem at all. It might live it might have been like that for a long time. Mm. And it might happily go on like that forever. Right. But it might not. It might get worse and then suddenly the bow will explode. So what individual ones have we found on here? What ones? Well there's that particular one there, near the top. Right. Um, there's one there. Uh, there's some there. There's some lines right across the bow. So this is where it would, there's sort of yeah, a little bit one, of a mark where yeah, that's there's a knot. Where or... that little knot is, that's fine. But just below it, there's a mark right across the bow where the, the structure of the wood seems to be failing right uh, and throughout the length of the bow there are various little dips and so there's a few marks that, i mean she's had it a long time had it a so long a few time marks, yeah. and okay yeah, not to be you know to be expected really yes yes it's showing its age it's showing its age mm. and the arrow plate you can see how many arrows have been shot because it's it, there's a dip in it and this is mother of pearl really hard so that shows the age the fact that an arrow sat there and made that mark yes through 20 years of use and that's the reason for putting this mother of pearl arrow plate in a u bow because the yeah. u is so soft if that hadn't been there yeah i mean you can all imagine if it, it didn't have that how quickly it would have gone through the would wood have worn a big groove yeah. in the bow yeah that mother of pearl is uh, some that we got from the chap who was uh, doing the fitting out on the queen mary ah, ship right. Yeah. And uh, we, we got that, so so fantastic colours in it, mm. uh, and that started to wear. Uh, the leather handle, you can see, is uh, pretty well worn. A uh, lot of the gold leaf is still on there, which is nice. Mm. Um, but again, we must stress that isn't through poor use. That's no, through that's someone through who's a lot of use. Yeah, it's just had a lot of use. The <laughs> bow's been used a lot. I've probably shot thousands of arrows. Yeah. Uh, the belly of the bow doesn't look too bad. Uh, there's a tiny little... Uh, Dutchman's plug in there. There was a little. So this knot. is a knot we'd have seen. We when making filled it. that. Yeah, right. we put a plug in it when we made the bow. Left a little bit of wood, proud around that area just to support it, and that has lasted fine. That mm. doesn't show any problems at all. Right. As does the remainder of the belly. There's no crystals. Mm. There's no major dents. Yeah. If there were any big dents in it, you can get that out. Uh, with a, a damp cloth on the bow and then a, an iron, a hot iron right. on it, and that will help to pull dents out. But apart from a, a few minor ones, the belly looks pretty good. So it's just that back that has given some concern. So what are our options with going back to the customer now who's brought this with these concerns? What can we offer them? What are we going to be saying to them? Well, we can either say, look, you've had a lot of use out of it. Mm. It doesn't owe you anything. <laughs> yes. You've had it for 19 years. Yeah. 
you 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 know it's done, it's done you proud. You won a lot of tournaments mm. hanging on the wall. Yeah, but we could scrape a layer of sapwood off the belly using a scraper. Uh, one on the bench somewhere, uh, and and actually scrape a well-worn scraper. Actually, start to scrape the surface of that wood off. Mm. Hopefully removing those lifts if they don't go very deep and they probably don't mm. we can scrape that off and hopefully remove all those lifts and those little marks that are in it and it will be fine it will reduce the weight of the bow yeah. which i don't think will be a problem uh but but I mean, any any work that we do on the bow is going to alter the bow yes it will it, it will, will reduce the weight. it will reduce the weight we'll we have to retiller it, re it. yeah it's uh, not an easy it job. might be more trouble than it's worth mm. so really when we go to the customer now we're going to have to say to them it's going to be this amount yeah uh, this amount of work uh do, do you, you do you want that done on a 20 yeah. year old and bow? it may fail and, yeah. and that's the other thing and mm. you'll have to give us money for a piece of broken wood <laughs> yeah so it's, we go, it's difficult. So it's, it's locating a problem in the bow is obviously down to that person having looked at their equipment, knowing their equipment. Uh, and as you say, sometimes things like you can feel lifts, sometimes taking the bow in and out of the bag, um, you can see little bits of material have actually attached to the lifts. Yeah. You can occasionally see them in that way. But it's down to the person knowing the equipment and saying, oh, yes, there is a problem and spotting it early and coming to us with it uh, and we can then give you some options but with this particular bow it is very old so we're going to have to stress that to, yeah. the, to the person that uh, yeah as you and say it may not owe you much yeah and the problem is there are lots of small lifts if there was one it isn't just if one. there was one lift yeah it's, it's we could probably put some five or six we could put some glue <laughs> yeah. under it and bind it it's not a pretty repair no but it usually works mm. but with lots of small ones and there's quite a few on the top limb there's some on the bottom limb yeah uh I, I don't know. We could try try it, um, but it might not remove them. Mm. Uh, don't know. Difficult, mm. difficult question, really. So as far as the back concerned, that's those are kind of your options with repairs. Um, with the belly, um, not that we've found There's no problem. problem. With, we've got we an old got some bow here. here if I can find that one. So and these are some sort of antique. Yeah, this is uh, bows. probably hundred years old, rather than twenty years old. Yeah, and that has got. Uh, you can hopefully see that a big piece that's just breaking there. And it's actually followed round a sort of tightness of the grain. Yes, there. that's right. Um, the rest of the bow is good. Uh, there doesn't seem to be, apart from one major area up here, just below that knot, where again there is a big spear lifting. Um, but if that wasn't there, mm. this repair here could be done. We will cut a bloom, we cut a piece, big piece out of the belly, splice in a new piece of you, glue that in, and then shape it down mm. to match the we have actually a done a video on doing a bloom type repair that Richard's talking about which I can put on the screen and in the, in the box below so you can have a look at that type of repair but that's the only real so option with that type you of could of, do that yeah. it, it wouldn't be worth it with this bow because it's so no. old and this is a, an Aldred bow isn't Aldred, it? so this yeah. is this is a, a this is an antique yes it bow. is, it is. Yeah. and and the the wood would now be brittle yeah. it would have lost its spring anyway yeah. and it would not be worth doing it this is just a collector's item mm. Right, but right. with a, a newish U bow, that, is that could be done easily. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's the other one that we've got there? I think we've got another example of um, that's another bow, <coughs> again, antique bow, 100 years old. Yeah, that again, apart from lots and lots of small marks on it, looks in pretty good condition. It's been really bashed, <laughs> mm. and it looks like someone's revarnished it. Um, but yeah, that's got a lot of marks. But that's got a lot of <clears throat> a lot of marks on it. So really, as we mentioned um, with this boat, this the the customer has brought along. It really does pay to know your equipment, uh, to to handle it regularly, and I mean outside of normal use, um, actually physically running your hand along it 
and, and checking the bow um, because things can be done. Yes. Uh, yeah, and, yeah. and particularly um, if the bow is, is younger of age, um, so once you get to this age, it may not be financially economical to do the type of work that we're talking about. And as Richard mentioned, there's not always a guarantee that repairing work is is going to work and and be a uh, uh, an extensive um, repair. It, it, it may even be a small repair. It might be a big repair, but there's no guarantee that it's um, that it's going to improve the longevity of the bow anyway. No, that's right. Uh, and you may have to weigh up how much you want that bow to carry on and how much you're prepared to spend uh, on on that particular bow. Yeah. Really. Yeah. But worth doing, worth paying attention to your equipment, and worth coming to people sooner rather than later to have a look at that bow. Uh, well I hope that's made sense and I hope you found that interesting. Uh, we'll try and give you a follow up on what the uh, customer wants us to do with this bow and uh, let you know what we've done and let you know if it was successful. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Good.